We can be heroes. Don't let the name fool you. It is a Shark Boy Lava Girl sequel. Although it's not about Shark Boy or Lava Girl, they're in it. But it's mostly about the next generation of heroes to include their kid Guppy. Now I'm going to give two scores for each and every category. One score is going to be my just my subjective perspective as an adult as me. And the other is going to be more of an objective look if I were the audience this movie was designed for a kid. I'm going to try to put myself in the mind of a child. <laughs> I think you're already there. <laughs> it's not hard. Story and writing. Now this is cheesy, family friendly, and a lot of what I might critique this movie on is actually a stylistic choice, which is part of the reason why I had to divide my ratings. The adult me gave it a six, and the kid me gave it a seven, slightly better. The story was actually pretty good. Had a lot of good elements, a lot of good educational themes. I gave it a 7.5. I went a little easier on the ratings for this one because it was a kid-friendly. It had a great message with teamwork and you don't have to be a superhero to be a hero and have superpowers to be a hero. So. I thought that was a nice little message. The characters, I thought there were some unique superhero characters there. You know, Acapella Girl, who was moving things with her voice. Slow-mo kid, who was slow. For the acting on this one, and part of this might be writing, part of it might be directing, and, and I know a lot of it is stylistic. I gave it a five. For adult me and for kid me, I gave it a six because I can look past some of these things. But the the dialogue was choppy. There was a lot of space in between the characters talking to each other that didn't need to be there, that wouldn't be there in a normal movie. Again, I think it's more stylistic to this franchise. These actors are capable of a lot more. Uh, pretty much all of them. There's some. There's some. There's some good acting talent on this particular movie, and it did not show. Except for the kids. I gave it a six. The adult actors are not going to really shine. Um, and the kids, they just have their line. They spit it out. And you might see a couple of kids really shine. I think the kids were pretty good, actually. The adults, not so much. But the kids were pretty good. Then again, that does kind of pull the focus to the kids. And maybe that's an intentional choice. And if it is, it was done well. For directing and editing as an adult, me, I gave it a four. It, the pacing, the, the, the cutting between the dialogue, the, like I said earlier, there's extra spaces, uh, more delay between the conversations, making them seem fake. They just, they just didn't feel real. They didn't have any kind of punch. And now that might be a stylistic choice, but I think it affects quality too. And I think with a kid's movie, you don't have to sacrifice quality to make it a good kid's movie. I think the style choice is getting in the way of actually making a better movie. Kid Me gave it a 7, though. <laughs> kid Me gave the directing and editing a 7. I gave it a 5. I kind of kept in mind they were working with a lot of kids. Visual arts. So the adult me that takes these things more seriously than I probably should... Gave it a 5 out of 10. It's it's not bad. 5 means it's on the cusp of being worth watching. It's actually just there. It's just there. It wasn't great. Some pretty campy special effects. They're not done as realistic as they could be. I think you can make a realistic movie in this franchise, and it'd actually be better. But Kid Me uh, thinks differently. <laughs> Kid Me gave it a 6.5. It did all tie together well as a stylistic choice. Every little piece did, and it flowed well. You know, it, one thing didn't stick out. They all stuck out together. <laughs> so as a choice, it they did well in, in going after that goal, and they actually got there. And as, as a kid, I'm going to be able to forgive a lot more on these areas. So 6.5 as a kid. I gave it a 5. There were some visual arts that were quite nice that they did okay. 
that I accepted. And then there were some that were just a flop. For a kid's movie, it probably worked. It worked. Technical arts, sound design, set designs, all of that. I've kind of already touched on this. Kid Me gave, or Adult Me gave it a 4. Kid Me gave it a 7.5 because it kind of reminded me of old Nickelodeon sets. That's what it looked like to me. Like, I was just waiting for green slime. I gave it a 6. I thought there were some sets that were pretty good and then some that kind of flopped a little bit. And their costumes... Some of the costumes, like the Lava Girl and the Shark Boy, still had their original costumes. I really liked seeing that. I felt like the adult superheroes were still missing a few elements, like there was something missing from their costume. The Shark Boy and Lava Girl's costumes stuck out for me. Like, they looked finished costumes. But the other ones seemed like it was missing something. So my score overall on this, Adult Me, 5. It's worth watching with the kids. It is. Just barely worth watching with the kids. Kid Me, though, gives it a 7. Kid Me liked it. Enjoyed it. Had fun. Accepted all the stylistic choices for what they were and just enjoyed the show. I gave it a 6. I thought it had a good message for kids. It was a good family movie. I was okay with watching it. There's not very many family movies out there right now, so non-Christmas family movies. Yeah. <laughs> that's very true. Now we're going to really see what the experts say about this movie. We, we give it a 10 out of 10. My favorite part was like sh the powerless girl. His dad was the leader, and she became the leader. My favorite character was Missy. 